So one of the things that I kind of noticed about the do-it-yourself e-bike industry is that everything seems to be very much zap tied onto uh, onto bikes. And I guess that's okay, but um, I wanted something a bit more clean. So to that end, I've got myself one of these Ender 3 Pro 3D printers. And uh, this here is the first piece that I've made. And it's designed to fit the uh, the back 800 onto my bike. Um, I had to do a bit of a, a bit of tremor work to kind of butcher the insides because I didn't get the dimensions quite spot on. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get the uh, the back 800 mounted in this, and then onto the bike and see if it gives me a cleaner look. So coming out here, you can see how it, it fits onto the bike frame. I haven't quite got the uh, the fit round here, but it clips on pretty nicely. Um, this is just uh, locked on. I'm going to use some Velcro on these points just to wrap it around for safety. The uh, the back 800 actually has two slots on the side uh, for M5 bolts, um, so I've put a small hole through and secured the the back 800 into the 3D printed part here, and then this compartment here. Uh, is uh, to protect the wires and keep them all nicely tidied away. Um, so really there's only the uh, the phase wires coming round to the motor here and then round this side there'll be the battery connection. So I'm going to get that all cinched up and put in place and we'll see how it looks at the end. So this is the finished piece mounted onto the bike I think it makes it a little bit cleaner than it was before. Still using the odd one or two zap ties just to keep that all squared away. I think for future versions I'll try and make some way of maybe putting a cover on this to keep those wires out of the way. Um, there's lots of room down the side for putting logos, that kind of thing. I'm just using some Velcro on here at the top um, but there's also the potential to drill some holes and use the, the mounting points on the frame itself rather than doing that but I mean it's the first time I've ever done any 3D printing so it's not too too bad um, here I drilled holes for the M5 but you know once I get the dimensions a bit better I can do a new version and actually have the holes printed so I don't have to mess around with the drill but uh, overall um, I'm pretty with how pretty happy with how it looks and uh, Looking forward to doing some more 3D printing in the future.